Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nadine. Um, so it's that time of the year. You did all your school shopping. You got all your supplies, your clothes, your shoes, whatever it is you need for your kids' backpacks. And all the kids are in school now. And now it's that season where you have to deal with school pictures. Yes, school pictures. <laughs> Um, my daughter, my oldest is in middle school. She's in the seventh grade now and she starts school August 30th. School pictures is August 31st. They don't waste no time at all. They, <laughs> I was like, geez, we just started school now school pictures. So I think it's for IDs. I'm not sure, but yeah, school pictures is the next day. So <laughs> my daughter gave me an idea. She's like, mom, you should do a video of how you store our school pictures. I'm like, that's not a bad idea. So, um, today I'm going to show you how I school, how, sorry, how I <laughs> store my kids' school pictures. This is my school picture binder. Um, I, let me tell you, I put everything in binders. It just makes life easier for me. But I will, we'll go into detail of what's in there. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's not work, but, you know, it makes life easier because, I know back in the day, my mom still had school pictures just in boxes, in the original envelopes, you know. So this is a big help. So I will explain in more detail about this binder. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you, welcome. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Just click that red button down below and um, just put on your notification bell. So when you know I put a new video out, you'll be in the know. So stay tuned and let's jump on in this video. Okay, so here's my school picture binder. Um, I got this binder at Staples. It's a one-inch binder. It's the better binder. Um, pretty much the only binder I buy. And um, But um, this cover, I just basically got some scrapbook paper. One on my printer, on my computer, printed this out. Slipped it right in the front pocket. So when you open it up... Um, this pocket has all my kids' class pictures. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, display this in here. But nothing's come up. I probably have to do some research, Pinterest, <laughs> and um, see what I can come up. So I have it divided um, by the kids' names. Like This is my oldest daughter, Sydney Ellis. And when you open it up, this is her sixth grade picture last year. And... I cannot remember where I got this template from, but um, I'm going to try my best to find it and put the description, put it in the description box down below. Um, but I like the fact that each one has um, year, teacher, and or school. That's why I blocked it out for privacy reasons. Friends, favorite activities, full field trips, and favorite books. And I pretty much did that for every... Yeah, this is her fifth grade class picture. Every fifth grader got it. Again, I blocked out the school name. But, um, yeah, so um, it comes in different colors. Fifth grade, fourth grade, third. And as you can see, it's pretty much, you know, the same for each grade. Um, I use um, sheet protectors to protect the picture. And, um... It's funny, for, for kindergarten, she um, she has two pictures in kinder, first grade. But in kindergarten, we, that's, we moved in the middle of her school year. So this picture is from her kindergarten class in Massachusetts. And then the small one is kindergarten from when she was in Atlanta. So, and then preschool. But as you can see, you know, I just um, printed it out, fill in the information. You know, and I did it for every child. This is my son, Christian. Again, I did this with cardstock, you know, just went um, on my print, on my computer, typed it up, printed it, slipped it in the sheet cover, and again, same concept, fourth grade. Um, third, you pretty much get the idea. Second, I'm just showing the pictures um, so you can see what my kids look like. Someone asked me, why don't you start from the beginning of this, like it says starting right at fourth grade why don't you start at pre preschool I don't know why I didn't do that but you know maybe I'll switch it up but yeah and he had two pictures in preschool as well um then my youngest daughter London um again same concept 
Um, I don't know if you noticed, but all the pictures, majority of the pictures are outdoor pictures. That's what they do at their new school. <laughs> when we got London's first grade picture, she hated it. I didn't really care for it, so we did a retake, and so she got this one, which looks a lot better. But, um, yeah, see, outdoor pictures. Kindergarten, preschool, and then my son, Zach, um, Zachariah. Um, um, you may have noticed that my sons have the same middle name. Um, it's because... Uh, my husband do not want juniors, but he want all his sons to have Aaron as their middle name, which is my husband's first name. So I agree to that. So that's why this is my youngest son. He was in preschool for two years, so this is his uh, last year, and this is the year before. Um, as you can see, all the pictures are eight by tens. I do not order the packages anymore because I end up having all these extra pictures and nothing to do, and don't know what to do with them. Yeah, after giving them out to everybody, I end up with all these extra pictures. And I was like, you know, I need to stop doing this. So now I just order one 8x10. And with all this technology, you can pretty much copy, print. Um, now, I know their school now offers digital download. So you can just print out how many, whatever size you want, So which is a good thing. So um, I will show you some of my school pictures from when... Huh, I was in, going from elementary to middle school, and yeah, it's not pretty. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> you know I'm starting to get more comfortable in being in front of the camera. Or I'm truly loving you guys to show you my school pictures. I mean, some of them pictures is like, what was she thinking with that hairstyle? Or what was she you know, thinking when she put on that outfit, you know? Well, let's just clarify right now. Elementary school, I didn't have a choice. I just wore what my mother gave me, you know? And if not, it was probably in style back then. Um, yeah, middle school, yeah, it's a rough time of year for some kids. <laughs> Because middle school is an awkward stage of life. I, I, this is my opinion. Because in elementary school, you have one teacher, one classroom. That's it. Middle school, it goes to six, seven teachers in six, seven different classrooms. And you have to get to them classrooms within like three minutes, you know. And you know what? It doesn't help that half these kids are going through puberty. Their body's changing. Their voice is changing. They got attitude. They have mood swings. Trust me, I know I'm going through it now with one of, with my oldest. But yeah, I've met so many people who legitimately did not like middle school. I really didn't have a problem with middle school. It was all right to me, you know. I mean, back in the day, we called it junior high, so you know. But yeah, it's just it's just an awkward stage in life. So I've learned to just have patience with my daughter <laughs> but um i really hope this binder encouraged you to make one for your own that you know instead of having boxes or just envelopes of all these pictures in it you know just you know do what i do just order one picture and if you don't you know you can just with all this technology now you can just pretty much you know make your own copies but now i know where they take pictures the photographer offers digital download so there's many options um I will link down below um, all the the website I got the template from and the website where I got the binder from. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like to see more of these, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Guys, thank you so much. And until we meet again, have a very blessed day.